For a lot of people, how to compose is this difficult and mysterious thing you just have to figure out for yourself. It's rare to get the opportunity to see another composer's approach and process. So today, we're gonna look at how Jeff Helkema wrote the track that won our April 2023 composing competition. You write a really, really, really good melody. The first step is to have a clear idea of how you're going to interpret the prompt and what specifically you want to express. First saw this, this woman and I wanted to give her a voice in the beginning. Day later I looked and uh, I came more across the, the man in the room. I thought, well, what might they be thinking? What might they be feeling? What are they doing there? And, and I finally decided to go with that feeling. Came up with the idea that there are maybe a crusaders coming back from a crusade and like a catharsis getting, getting cleaned of these feelings and emotions. After you're clear on what you want to say, find inspiration for how you want to say it. Even if, like Jeff, you find that inspiration from yourself. When I first start, I go along my files and see if there's something that I can use, like in the basses. There might be a template that I use or, or just a little melody or idea or a chord of progression. Because if you listen to some, some ideas years later and they're still doing something, like uh, it's, it's worth uh, trying it out. Now you need to work out the basic idea that will be the heart of this particular piece of music. In many ways, the basic idea is the entire piece. I wanted to get the audience into the room. I first made a sort of droney atmosphere. I played a, a melody flute until I got the right melody. The theme exists of three little Parts, the banji playing the first motive. There's an answer too from the banji, and the gazao gives the final answer. So do you just loop the drone? Yes, and, yes, and yeah, mess, yes. Mess around, yeah. I guess. This little theme, uh, da, 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 uh, I carry it through all the piece. Everything is derived from that little theme. There were some comments specifically about your melodies, that they were really right. strong melodies. Do you have any advice about writing a good melody? Well, I used to get very technical on it. I have to get back to the center, to the root note, mm -hmm. and I have to get up a fifth. And that didn't bring me the melody that, that I, I wanted. I do uh, work to a little climax in the, in the melody. So it has to have a sort of highest point. And going back, so always this this mountain. The next day, I, I have to, still have to like it, and the day after, right. I still have to uh, have to like this melody. And if I don't, uh, yeah, I start over. Once the basic idea is established, the remaining challenge is to keep the music evolving while also keeping that main idea consistent. I think a lot of people listen to and are inspired by film music that is underscore and maybe forget that we're just listening to these competition entries alone. There's no dialogue, there's no vision, you know, there's no video. That's so it, it has to work. A lot of entries that were really nice textures, but that's all they were, was just like a texture. And it was kind of missing that top feature yeah. element. So yeah. Yeah, I was like uh, conscious of that, that it was just 90 seconds. That was complete blank space, telling an ad adventure in 90 seconds. Like I, uh, I also had the, um, in mind that that you as a listener had to get a bit disorientated after these 90 seconds you realize was this 90 seconds or three minutes or you know if the music does that then you you made a point maybe listen to how after jeff establishes his initial question and answers he takes us on a journey a lot happens but very importantly, the main ideas stay incredibly similar. It's the orchestration, the harmony, the dynamics that are carrying us forward, not new ideas.
I think the, the, this kind of competitions really give an extra push to uh, to to make it work and, uh, and get all the way. You know, mm-hmm. so it, it helps me a lot to uh, to uh, to challenge myself. So, okay. uh, and, uh, Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a little stage to uh, talk about my work. Check below the like button for a breakdown of the track that Jeff made, where you can hear the individual layers that made his winning track sound so good. Our very first competition winner, Wade Smith, said the key to making progress as a composer is to get good feedback. I met up with a young composer whose track was not selected as a finalist. And in this video, you can hear how even just one round of feedback can make a big difference for your music. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.